It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. For this video, I'm gonna talk about the top five wins for Donald Trump. In my last video, I talked about negative stuff about Donald Trump. However, people are complicated. There are good sides to people, and there are bad sides to people. And so here's a list of the good stuff that I found from Donald Trump. The first thing, of course, has to be war. Because we did not have a war during the presidency of Donald Trump. When I was a kid, I could remember very clearly what happened during 9-11. Of course, it was like everywhere in all the stations on TV. And so we had a war since George Bush. We had a war with, of course, Barack Obama. And he used uh, drones against people to attack people. And so Donald Trump did not have any type of war during his presidency. As a matter of fact, I feel as though that <laughs> since we're going to have like uh, Biden as president, it seems as though that we might actually return back to war according to various news sources. So one benefit that Trump has is that we didn't have any type of war and conflict with other nations in the whole entire world. The second thing is the removal of critical race theory. In my last videos, I talked about, of course, like books such as White Fragility and how anti-racism is really racism, but with a prettier name. However, for Donald Trump, he got rid of critical race theories in our schools and also in our universities, thanks to the executive order that he made. And so when I heard the news, I was really happy to hear that our schools are going to not have critical race theory. However, according to the news, Joe Biden want to have critical race theory back. So yeah, it seems as though we had progress. We had it, but we're going to go back to just racism yet again. How fantastic. The third thing is perhaps the vaccine for the coronavirus. Now, Donald Trump announced that he had plans to do a vaccine for the coronavirus as soon as December. However, it seems as though that we now got news that there's a vaccine for the coronavirus that has a 90% success rate. And so, I'm so happy and so thrilled to hear about the news that we actually got a vaccine for the coronavirus. And apparently the vaccine is going to be here by January. And so it seems as though when it comes down to the whole entire coronavirus issue, Donald Trump is also right. The fourth thing is, of course, how he protects free speech on college campus. He actually wrote some sort of executive order that protects free speech on college campus. And to me, that's really great. Because, as we all know, like a lot of these colleges do not actually support speakers and actually attack people for having controversial opinions. And so, to me, it seems as though that's actually a great benefit to actually protect free speech on college campus. He may not, of course, protect free speech when it comes to his own personal criticism, like on Saturday Night Live or like, you know, um, Bill Maher. But still, he's actually right on the issue of free speech on college campus. The final thing is his contribution to the black community. Now, it seems as though there's always been accusation of like Donald Trump is some sort of white supremacist and that he never ever condemned, of course, white supremacists. However, that's not the case because throughout the whole entire years, of course, it seems as though that Donald Trump actually condemned white supremacists and I actually called him out on many different occasions. So when you hear people like Joe Biden or the media saying that he never condemned white supremacists, that is not true in the slightest. And not to mention, of course, like as far as the black community is concerned, Donald Trump actually worked with rappers and got them together like Ice Cube to make some sort of bill that will help the African American community to actually become, you know, less poverty than poverty. And there's also, of course, a case where he actually made sure 
that the KKK is actually some sort of listed terrorist group. So why would a white supremacist actually put the KKK as part of a terrorist list and not care about black people? There's also, of course, the fact that he has like these jobs, like the Trump Tower and all that kind of business, and helping minorities get their jobs and work underneath him. And so this idea, to me at least, that Trump is some sort of massive racist, I don't think he really is. I mean, what would a racist actually put the KKK as part of some sort of terrorist group? Why would a racist work with rappers and actually want to help black people? That to me does not make any sense in the slightest. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below and I'll talk to you guys next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I won't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.